Hey guys, so today I was uh, requested to do a green look and here we have it. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for, you know, watching my content. I know that there's tons of other people you could be watching and you maybe are watching them, but thank you for also watching mine. Please do like, comment, share my videos where you can. It really truly does help me. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you for watching. Bye! Okay, so we are starting with the P. Louise base on the eyes, as always. Um, I am going in with the Jeffree Star Blood Money palette and the Rising Star MUA Emerald City palette. You will see the colors I use. I'll talk about those. Um, so first of all, I'm using Poison Ivy. That is uh, in the Blood Money palette on the inner corner of the eye. And then Emerald Estate on the eyelid, like the majority of the eyelid, crocodile tears in the crease, and then jaded on the outer corner, and then I went in with the um, color in the bottom right, black card limit, and that was the color I used to smoke out the eyeliner, and then I used the star wedding palette um i used the uh shimmery white color the one that's second from the top i can't remember the name of it um anyway it doesn't really matter i'm sure it'll come to me but uh, cut the cake cut the cake that's what it was <laughs> Um, I used Cut the Cake on the Inner Corner and uh, Grand Entrance from the Star Wedding Palette on the Brow Bone. Now, the Emerald Estate color that was on my eyelid, I really liked it. I wanted something a bit more. Um, and I went ahead and went into the Rising Star MUA Emerald City Palette. And that green... The, the green from that palette was the one that did it for me. Um, it gives a more foiled look, whereas the Emerald Estate was more of a shimmery look. So I kind of feel like the green color in the Rising Star MUA Emerald City palette is what... Jeffree Star Cosmetics was trying to do with their eye gloss powders. Um, the colors in the Emerald City palette from Rising Star it, are a lot more buttery, I suppose you'd call them, and uh, pigmented. I was sent the collection in PR, but you can see in the video where I use it. Like, you can actually tell the difference uh, between the original Emerald Estate shade and then I put on top of it the Rising Star Emerald City shade and you can see the difference that it gives the foiling. Um, I wouldn't use it if... Like, I had the Jeffree Star Christmas Tree Bling uh, eye gloss powder out to use for this and I didn't end up using it because I had that shade from the Emerald City palette. So anyway, all of that aside, um, going ahead and blending the colors uh, and then putting on that cut the cake color on the inner corner to really brighten it up, I wanted like a nice glamorous, um, you know, emerald color. I'm thinking that like every one of my tutorials is going to have glamorous in the title because that's what I always go for. Um, so if you see glamorous in every tutorial that I post, mind your business. <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, curling the lashes and then going ahead and applying the Benefit Their Real Magnetic Mascara and the eyelashes, the same eyelashes I've been using for a while now, the Pure and Barbie Barbie doll lashes with the elegant eyelashes 301 drag lash cut for the spikes. Need to get some. I have tons of 301s, but I need to get some new base lashes just from like the drugstore, just so that I can um, 
you know, have a different set of lashes to wear. I've been sticking with the same one, but regardless. Uh, then I use the Catrice Prime and Fine Primer. And for some extra moisture, I used the Urban Decay Quick Fix Hydra Charge Complexion Prep Priming Spray. Um, I feel like they really went into a thesaurus and, you know, they said, let us put a name on this bottle, bitch. Not just a name. We're going to do a name. You feel me? Um, and then under my eye as well, too, I was using the Emerald Estate color and it just didn't do it for me again. So I used the Rising Star color, uh, and blended the bottom with the black card limit color. Um, I'm really excited to see where the Rising Star brand goes because of the shadows. The colors are beautiful, but even if I didn't vibe with the color selection, the quality of them is just really good. And it's surprising for me because it's their first release. It's a new company. So I just think that they're really hitting the ball out of the park. You feel me? Um, so going ahead and applying the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator, um, Bare Focus Tinted Hydrator. Using that, just applying that all over and then going ahead and stamping it in with a beauty blender. This is the Real Technique Sponge Beauty Blender, whatever you want to call it. It's the huge one. Um, and then using the Kimchi Chic The Most Concealer, the white color, as always, going ahead and blending out under my eyes and a couple other places that I like highlight. I really like highlight on the center of my forehead as well, too. And uh, then I'm going to go ahead and set with the MAC Studio Fix Powder, the Shivering White color, and just like my skin color all over, the shivering white colors under my eyes. Then I'm using the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Loose Powder and putting that all over, making sure that my whole face is dry and nowhere is tacky. Uh, and then, oh, before I used powder, I did forget to mention, I did use the Soul Body Bronzing Balm by ColourPop. Uh, so there's that. Uh, I just went in with, um, like not too much. I didn't want to be like too tan. I just wanted, you know, some definition. Um, and I did not use a liquid blush. I forgot. Normally I would use it, but a bitch forgot, you know? Uh, and so after using the liquid, or the cream bronzer, sorry, um, the, uh, powder is what I go ahead and do, and I use the, uh, She Glam Lightweight Matte Blush in the color Tangerine. Absolutely love this blush color. I did a client recently, um, and... This is the blush I used on her, and it was just so beautiful. She was fair-skinned, uh, so was really happy with how that looked, and she was happy as well, too. So, yeah. Um, I don't really do clients anymore. I try to not, um, but sometimes I'll come out of retirement for hair or makeup if it's, you know, a friend or a friend of a friend sometimes. Try not to, but anyway. And uh, then going in with the ColourPop Flexitarian Highlighter over top of the bronze, or the blush, sorry. And then the Danessa Myricks and Light Halo in Ice. Before the Danessa Myricks and Light Halo, I used the um, Cream Shop and Hello Kitty Celebrate Setting and Priming Spray. And then go ahead, let it dry for just a little couple seconds. And um, then I used that Danessa Myricks and Light Halo in Ice. 
I always use my finger for ColourPop Flexitarian. I just find that it works better. It looks great on, uh, pretty, actually pretty much on any of the Super Shock shadows or Super Shock highlighters I use my fingers. Um, and, oh, this as well too, I forgot to mention, I did use the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer just around the perimeter and on my nose just for some, you know, to tie in the color of the nose and color of the perimeter. And then for, uh, I did use the P. Louise Eyebrow Gel and the um, L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. You do not need the P. Louise Eyebrow Gel. I love P. Louise bases and I really want to try their blushes. Um, but things like, for this is just for me personally, things like eyebrow gel, skinny eyebrow pencils, you do not need to spend a lot of money. Um, you can get it at the drugstore. That's my opinion. Um, then for uh, uh, lips, I did the um, She Glam Lip Liner in the color 524, I think. I still don't know the name of it, and all it says on it is 524, so I very much so apologize about that. And then the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Skin Tight Velour Liquid Lipstick. This is... Um, old, but I love the color. So the texture was a little fucked up. Um, but it wasn't like anything crazy. If I had thrown a gloss over it, it would have been perfect, but I didn't want to get up to get gloss. So I used the Pixie and Hello Kitty Harmony Hues IFX. Um, and I used the color in the middle on the very right. It's kind of like a nudie gold color, I suppose. Um, and I use that in the center of my lips, and that gives it kind of a gloss finish without being sticky. So that's what I went ahead and did. Um, you don't have to use that if you don't want to. Um, you don't have to use anything that I used if you don't want to. You can get this look a lot of different ways. Uh, but this is just what I use. Um, so, yeah, that is pretty much the video, I wanted to make sure that I did blend in because the skin tight, uh, liquid lipstick is very light. I wanted to make sure that you can see me blending in the lip liner and the liquid lipstick. Um, there, I just use my finger to blend it. Sometimes I've used a brush, but I just honestly find the fingers, I use my hands the most for makeup, I think, um, because they're the best tools you have. Uh, then I'm using that P. Louise eyebrow gel. Um, I won't repurchase it, just like I said, because as much as I love P. Louise and their products, it's just not necessary to me. Um, and then I'm going ahead with the uh, Harmony Hues Eye Effects. And we're all done. I really hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you so much for your continued support. Please do like, share, comment, and everything else. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching. Bye.